In this video, I'm going to present a long-run equilibrium problem for the market structure of monopolistic competition. We have a monopolistically competitive firm who is in long-run equilibrium. Uh, the firm produces its product at a constant marginal cost of $40, and the firm faces an inverse demand of P equals 100 minus Q. We want to solve for the profit-maximizing price and quantity. We also want to find the firm's fixed cost, its average total cost equation, and at the end we'll graph our answers. So let's start with finding the profit maximizing price and quantity. First we'll get the firm's total revenue. Total revenue is price times quantity. So 100 minus Q represents the price, as we've been told up here. So 100 minus Q times Q equals 100 Q minus Q squared. We'll take the derivative of that to get marginal revenue. So the derivative of 100q minus q squared is just 100 minus 2q. We're going to now profit maximize by setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Marginal cost is 40. So setting those equations equal and solving for q. Uh, subtracting 40 from both sides, 2q equals 60. Dividing through by 2, q equals 30. So that's the profit maximizing quantity. And to get the profit maximizing price, plug 30 into the firm's inverse demand curve. So that's what I do here. I take this 30, plug it in for Q, and the firm will charge $70 per unit. Long run equilibrium, and we <clears throat> we stated this problem that the firm is in long run equilibrium, and in monopolistic competition, that means price equals average total cost ensuring that the firm is just making a normal rate of return or zero economic profit. Um, here's an expression for average total cost. Average total cost is average fixed cost plus average variable cost, where average fixed cost is just a firm's fixed cost, FC, divided by Q. And average variable cost will equal marginal cost when marginal cost is constant. So I'm just substituting 40 in for average variable cost. Again, we are told that the firm has constant marginal cost of $40. Uh, the next thing I'll do is set up the zero economic profit condition, price equals average total cost, and we know the price from the last slide. Uh, the price is $70, so 70 equals the firm's average total cost. We also note from the last slide that Q, the profit maximizing output, is 30. So that's what I'm putting in here for 30. And then also in this step here, what I did, I took 40 here and I subtracted 40 from both sides. So 70 minus 40 leaves us with 30. This 30, again, is the profit maximizing output from the previous slide. Multiplying through by 30 now, fixed costs equal 900. So let's go ahead now and graph. Let's graph the firm's inverse demand, the marginal cost, the profit maximizing output and price. We'll need the firm's marginal revenue, and we'll also put in the firm's average total cost. And here is the graph. So the demand curve, okay, is this line right here. Vertical intercept of 100, horizontal intercept of 100. The firm's marginal revenue looks like the demand, but it has a slope that is twice as steep. Marginal cost is constant at $40, so what we found was where MR equals MC. That happened at 30 units of output. We plugged this 30 units of output into the demand equation. That's where we found our price of 70. Uh, based on the fact that this firm is in long-run e equilibrium, we were able to establish the firm has an average total cost given by fixed cost divided by output plus 40. And the graph of that would look something like this. So notice again in long run equilibrium, price of 70 equals average total cost. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.